Well, hello, combat crew, and welcome to another. What was that? Oh, 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 oh yes, 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 yes. A, a Doki Doki mod, another Doki Doki mod, and it's called the Rain Clouds. Well, Rain Clouds it, are like my powers, I guess. Because my name is Rain, I have the Rain powers. So. I am new in this house. I was not here, any, any, any there. Just something, just like scorpion, sub reptile, and uh, Bihan, noob, cybot were there. And now I, I'm here, which which is a six of us. Smoke has in Smoke and Trevor and Camel Cameleon has in been there. They, they did not came here yet, but they will come in this on this house in the future. Anyway, I don't know why am I talking about the ninjas, I don't know why am I talking about the other conversations, other, other topics. I didn't I, I didn't even want, want the board, make you bored. I'm just uh, here to play the game. We are here to have fun, aren't, aren't we? Anyway, let's get let's get to the game. Doki Doki Rain Clouds. Okay, let's begin the game. What's the name of your childhood friend? Rain. I have trouble breathing. I feel so numb. I don't want to open my eyes. Not again. Another day for me to wake up for. Another day to live through. Am I even living at this point? What's the point? Things would be so much better better if no. I can't stay strong. For rain. I've got to wait. What am I playing as? I'm doing this. I slept in my school clothes. I should change them. Am I playing as Sayori? Okay, whatever. Oh. Whatever. There's no point. I'll just do the same thing tonight and again tomorrow. And it's late again. Why am I such a fa lazy failure? I feel a trait. No. I feel a tear rolling down my cheek. And another one, and another. I'm such a loser. Why would, why would anyone ever want to hang out with me? I don't understand how Rain can enjoy spending time with me. Does he only pretend to enjoy my company? Aren't I annoying? Looks like he's about to leave. I'll go and meet up with him before he forgets about me again. He just left and he forgot about me. Again. Why does it hurt me so much? I shouldn't be upset about this. He doesn't have to be bear wing with me after all. I slowly take in a deep breath and call out to him. Hey! Oh, I'm, oh I, I am playing a series, I guess. Okay. I wave my arms around trying to get Rain's attention. It's time for me to wear, wear my mask. I can't let him know. Oh, you, so you're gonna... She's going to wear the Mortal Kombat Ninja costume? I don't know. If she's, if she's doing that, I don't know. I can't let anyone know. Rain sighs and lets me catch up with him. He looks embar embarrassed. He's always been my friend, but sometimes I wonder if I'm just a burden to him. That's not me. That's, that's not even you and me. That's MC right there. But whatever. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, maybe because, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Huh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. 
He was good to ignore me, but does he really hate seeing me that much? That's mean, Rain. Well, if people stare at you for acting with, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Acting weird, huh? How am I supposed to act normally when I don't know? When I don't how to? I don't know how to. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, if, even if you don't want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> I should just stop talking, I'm wasting his time. We can be cross the street together and make our way to school. There are so many people around us, I feel like they're all looking at me. And the rain just walks in front of me as if nothing's wrong. I can't blame him. I wish I could go just go to the Lodge Club already. It's so much more peaceful in there. If only, maybe... By the way, Rain... Have you decided on a club that you join yet? A club? Uh, I told you already, I'm not really in interested in joining any, any clubs. I had been looking either. That's what I thought. I want him to come with me even if that means I'm being selfish. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Rain is deep in doubt. He probably thinking of a polite way to shut down my plea. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I, I die at the, at the top of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I wouldn't be able to stand seeing him un unhappy and isolated like me. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Please, don't add more to my health tea. Have tea? Daily burden. I'm already st struggling to keep up with everything else. Alright, alright. I'll look at the few cards if it makes you happy. No promises though. I should be happy right now, but yet, why does my smile feel so fake? Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! I, I can't do the... Go boys. I really hope Rain will come to the Lodge Club. Everything is so calm in there. Why would I go to the Lodge Club if I don't have interest in the literature? I, I'm a, I, I am a prince of Edenia. I don't do literature. I do things in, in, in my world. He'll get to meet the other girls too. It's selfish, but I hope he won't leave me behind after meeting them. I spent the entire day starting blanking at my papers. I don't remember a single thing that was discussed during classes. I'm a bit scared. Did Rain lie to me? Will he really check out the clubs? I don't want to go and annoy him again, but I'll go and talk to him. I didn't tell him about the club yet, did I? I approach his classroom. As I get ready to enter, I, had, I hear him muttering. Clubs. Am I gonna have to come in? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for coming to bother you again. Hello! Sayuri! You look surprised. Thank God he was, isn't angry. Ray looks around. He seems really lost and confused. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I'm actually insulting him at this point. Who am I to say such things? You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Why does he keep acting like he's unhappy to see me? I just want to disappear. I, should, I shouldn't have come here. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, uh, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. He gives me an awful cold look. Why did I think before speaking? Of course he would agree to come. I'm not even that interesting. Sayori, yeah, there is no way I'm to, there is no way I'm going to your literature club. I just want to be back my head on the floor and scream my right up. I'm so worthless, hoping for him to come. Eh, uh, meanie, and why do I keep up this cute attitude? I just want to cry. That's it. The literature club is a nice place, but I think I'm I'm the reason why he he doesn't want to join us. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Anime club. Come on, please. Here I am, begging like an idiot. He'll, he'll just hate me even more. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made, made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Why did I say that? How could I ever think for even for a second that he hit me interest in, in with his interest in the club? Don't make me promises you can't keep. Really, let's have that long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by a cupcake, okay? Seriously, for a, a cupcake? I'm trying my, my best to act nice. Oh, so I am playing Sayori and not myself. Also, this is also the person I'm looking at is MC, not Rain. Rain is my name. And he comes with me because he wants cupcakes. Doesn't he even realize how hurtful he's being? Is he even aware of what he's saying? Yes, let's go! Ah, Rain laser walks towards the club every few seconds, he sighs to himself. It's like coming with me is a huge pain for him. He glances at me, his gaze harshly cold. He clearly doesn't enjoy being with me at all. I shut my biggest smile and I swing open the classroom door. Natsuki, Monica, and Yuri are all peacefully reading at their desk. I already feel a bit better. Everyone, the member is here. I am not a new member! I told her, don't call me a new member. Rain glances around the room. Suddenly, he doesn't look as angry as before. The girls immediately regroup around it. They're always so curious. I give everyone a slight smile. Monica looks really interested. Welcome to the Liturgy Club. It's a pleasure to meeting you. Yuri, hello. Sayura always says nice things about you. Uh, I don't know if, if she does. Rain doesn't seem to care about the last part of Yuri's statement. Seriously, you put a ninja? Way to kill the at atmosphere. I love my head in the preparation to apologize, but Monica speaks before I get the chance. Ah, Rain! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Rain doesn't seem as miserable as before. He looks at the girls and ch chuckles a bit. Why does it stink so much? Does he already appreciate them that much? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Why is she acting this way? He didn't do anything wrong. This is unfair. I feel like I'm not even needed. I I'm just like a bystander in the scene. I'm used to it. Not to keep... Huh. I don't want Rain to be annoyed by Natsuki's behavior. He already has a bear with mine. I approach him as I quietly whisper in his ear. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Why did I just say that? It doesn't seem like he understood me. What will it take to make him seem even a little bit interested when I'm talking? I always question myself, but does he even care? I need to relax. This is a liturgy club after all. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Rain looks over at Yuri. I'll, I'll listen to them for afar. It's not like they need me anyway. I sit down at the table and watch everyone talk amongst each other. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Rain shyly waves his hand. Why is why is he acting so sweet now? Looks like Monica knew him already. Did they even know even did they even know each other before? And it sounds like you already know Monica. It's that is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Rain. You too, Monica. His smile seems so genuine. It's heartwarming, of course. But why don't I ever get that smile too? I could just let him stand there blankly after his interaction with Monica. Come sit down, Rain. We made room for you at this table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Please, Rain. Come sit next to me, please. What the hell? Are you okay, Sayori? Because you're acting like, acting like so weird. Hey, I met them. I'll get them. 
sorry, I got a little, little too excited. Why did I think that was a good idea? She made the cupcakes. I have no right to do that. I'm just dumb. Then, how about I make some tea as well? And I can't even do anything useful. Rain walks towards our table, looking around. He seems more and more interested. I'm pretty sure Monica is the one who caught his attention. He'll probably go and sit next to her. He smiles at me, my heart throbs. And he decided to sit next to me? Why did he choose why, why did he choose me? There was a seat next to Monica, right? I should stop overthinking things. This is killing me. Before I get some more time to think, Natsuki proudly approaches with the her cupcake tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, wow! Now take a little fall off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. She's so amazing. She does so many things. I wish I could be cool as cool as her. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at making Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. I don't want to eat. I'm never, I'm never, I'm never ever even hungry, but I need to keep up this happy persona. I'm the first to grab a cupcake, followed by Monica, and then Rain. It, it's delicious. It's too sweet for my likings. It doesn't taste bad, obviously, but I'm not enjoying it. Rain is still looking at the cupcake. Does it? Do you want to taste it? I'm thinking it keeps glancing at him. Looks like she doesn't hate him as much as she pr pretends to. After a while, Rain decided to take a bite. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you taking me? It's not like I... Natsuki should learn how to appreciate compliments. Doesn't she realize it can hurt people when she brushes off compliments like that? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I think it technically did. Sayori so said... He's right, I said it. This is all my fault. Well, maybe, but not for... You know, you... Dummy. Alright, alright. I quite the sigh. I wish I could compliments like those. No. No, not the time for to act, act selfish. I've got to enjoy this moment. If Rain is having a good time, then having a, I'm having a good time. Yuri is done with the tea. She, she puts the set on the table and serves some tea to everyone. You, you keep the whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the tea just gave us permission. After all, does it, doesn't, ha, ha, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? You're so mature. Rain looks captivated and a bit imitated, I, I, intimidated. It's rare to see him acting like that. Ah, uh, I... yes. <laughs> Don't let yourself get imitated, intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... That was uncalled for. You look, you look so very clearly hurt by Monica's comment. Why would she say that in the first place? It's not like there's a bad blood between them or something. I bet that, you know, I believe you... Well, T and Rita might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I can see Rain carefully chooses his word. This is irritating. I'm not angry, but it just hurts. I'm glad. Your faith this smiles. I'll give anything for Rain to try making me smile this way. God, I keep, I keep thinking about this. Why is it so depressing? I should try having more happy thoughts. There is negative thoughts keep popping up in my head. I can't control them. Why am I talking in British? I can't control them. So, what made you consider this the village club? Rain is at the uh, Rain is at a loss for words. I wonder what he's gonna say. Um. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed to really have here, so... So he lied. Why does he do that? Is he really trying to get the girl's attention that much? That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? 
as president of the Liturgy Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and, and excited to, for everyone. I don't recall hearing Rain saying he drew the club, though. I know how he usually acts, he's just acting nice for now. Why do I, I appreciate it so much then? Oh god, I must look and think about this. Stop! Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably well, be a board member of, of any of the major clubs. He's not wrong. Monica is such an amazing student, but he, I think that that's why the club is such a well welcoming place. I love it. Were you the leader of the, the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't say all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it, it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. If only she knew how right she is, not only did she make me enjoy literature, but she made me a place, she made a place I can enjoy, even if my enjoyment is just minuscule. Monica really is a great leader. I didn't mean to say that out loud, it was just a reflex. It seems like you agrees with me though, she slowly nods. That I'm surprised there aren't, many, there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. If you put it that way, not many people are very interested in, in pulling out, putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like the literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduated. Right, everyone? That was impressive. Just for a moment, I forgot about the, all my sad thoughts. Her speech was really uplifting. I really admire her. Yeah? We'll do our best. You know it. It feels good to see the entire group smiling and cheering. Rain looks amused. I wonder what's he thinking right now. Is that the thing we're like, or maybe he appreciate our motivation, or perhaps he's just thinking about the other girls. So, Rain, what kind of things do you like to read? I'd never ever seen Rain read, and so this question is gonna be tough for him. Well, uh, he mutters quietly. Uh, manga? I know someone who's interested in manga. I glanced at Natsuki. She broke her, her head up from the book, opens her mouth as she's about to speak, but then decides to stay quiet. I can't believe her. I know what it, how it feels. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. No, I can't believe this. I had to l l l literally direct him into this club, and he just agrees to so quickly start reading for Yuri. This is unfair, I'm trying my best. No, that's Rain's choice, not mine. I can't be just be that selfish all the time. My thoughts are all scrambled in my brain. I shake my head and I keep listening in on Rain's conversation with Yuri. Anyway, well, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. He in a soft spot, there is nothing Yuri likes more than reading. My favorites are usually the novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is quite impressive. She keeps talking about her love for books. I wish I could take a talk a bit more too. I love literature too. It's such a beautiful way to escape. But I usually feel bad when I'm done with the book. When I realize it was all fiction. When I realized life is how it is. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with the deep solid elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't that amazing how a writer can so the, the, the deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Yuri totally ignores Rain. I feel sad for him. He's trying his best. 
Although I don't think it's uh, he's ever read any in the books, the horror books. It's just is he just trying to impress Yuri? Really? I would I would have I would have expected that Yuri, or someone as gentle as you. What a naive conclusion! Does if she really think I'm getting in people's mind is that easy? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or makes me another world, or takes me out of the world, sorry, that I can't, I really can't put it down. Sure, real horror is often way successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... She's reluctant to speak. It's as she doesn't dare talk when rain is around. She's genuinely cute. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looks like you were working on the poem called Don't Say Too Out Loud and Give That Back. So Natsuki is also a writer, right? Why is everyone so good here? I can't write a single good poem. Fine, fine. I'm going to have a bit of fun. I'm allowed to enjoy my time here, after all. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. I put my hands on Natsuki's shoulders. I'm not cute. Rain doesn't seem to care. He's too focused on Natsuki. Why is he acting like I don't exit at all? Is this all I'm worth? Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, I, well, I guess, sometimes. Why do you care? I'm just here watching them talk. Maybe Rain decided to ignore me. That's be better for his health. It must be boring to stay with me. And here I am, thinking about the same things again and again. I think that it's imp that's impressive. Why don't you share them some time? N no! She looks away, doesn't she see an opportunity to show how talented she is? I don't think people realize all the lost occasions they had. You would like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of freedom takes more than just confidence. <coughs> oh, sorry. sorry. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up for your readers, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. I wish I could write about what I feel, but how am I supposed to explain something I can't understand myself? I hope I'll become a good at Natsuki one day. Her poems may be cute, but she's always so expressive when she's writing. Do you have any? Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you should share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. She's so shy, I know how great her writing skills are. I don't think Rain would dislike her poems. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, uh, I wanted to share, I want to read everyone's poems. Everybody look at me, and yet no one says a word. Silence. We're all sitting at the table. Is, is it my fault? Did I say something wrong? Malika decides to break the silence. I wish I would break. I would break not to do that. Okay. I, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look surprised. I'm afraid I already know what Malika is going to say. Let's all go home and write a form of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. I don't want to do this. I'm going to fail. Again. Rain will hate me even more. I know I shouldn't overthink this, but I know I would be able to, to, to do this well. Still, I got to act confidence for their sake. Uh, um, I tried breaking the awkwardness. Yeah, let's do it. I feel so awkward. I'm the only enthusiastic 
one, but nobody looks cheered up. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen, strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Brain? She gives Rain a big smile, of course, she, she can't resist. Hold on, there is still one problem. Uh, what the? I knew it, I'm certain he's gonna find an excuse to not join us. Most likely because I'm already in the club. I never said I would join this club. Sayori Sayo may, Sayo may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I suppressed my urge to cry. Why? Why is he so hurtful when I'm trying my best to make him a bit happier? I'm not the only disappointed one. It seems the other girls are look sad. Rain set stares at us for a few seconds. He barely looks at me. But, but I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. Rain, you all. After a little bit of thought, he lets out a long sight. I press my fingers behind back, my back, even if he doesn't care about me. Please, please just let him stay with us. Right. Okay, I, I decided then. I'll join the village club. Without even thinking, I wrap my arms around Rain. I wish I could stay a, a little bit, bit longer. Yes! I'm so happy. Hey! I don't know what was I. this feeling I just had. Was 